Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope everything is okay with you and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own lemon meringue pie. So what we need is one big pie shell, one and a half cups of sugar, six tablespoons of cornstarch, one four teaspoon of salt, half cup cold water, two tablespoon butter, and three well beaten egg yolk, and one cup boiling water, and one teaspoon grated lemon peel. And of course, the meringue. What we need in our meringue is two egg whites, one four teaspoon of cream of tartar, one cup minus two tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon ta teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm going to show you how to make that our meringue and our crust. So what we need in our what we're going to do is using single crust. So what we need in making our crust is one third cup shortening but of, instead of shortening we're going to use butter and salted butter okay and we need salt too one four teaspoon salt and cold water or they called ice water and we're going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice so i'm going to show you how you're going to make our single crust first before we're going to do the rest because we cannot make a meringue pie without a pie crust so we're going to cut the butter into a flour and of course i sifted the flour with the salt and keep using two knives butter knives so you don't cut yourself so we're going to cut the flour crisscrossing until it become a uh, coarse crumbs we keep doing until we get we meet the right texture so it look like this and now we can sprinkle the ice water with lemon juice one table at a time until we gathered all the pastry or the dough into clean and nice uh, soft texture now as you can see and we're going to cut this in half because we're going to make two pie today so again if you want to make an and one meringue, um, lemon meringue pie then you can just make one recipe but if you want to make two then you just double all the ingredients so we'll cut into half and i'm going to make this uh, like a ball and we can rest for a just like 20 minutes in the fridge so it's easy to work it out Okay, so we're going to cover with the plastic wrap. We cover in the clean with the clean wrap, and then we're going to put into the fridge for at least twenty minutes. 
and while waiting for this one we're going to make our mirroring first first we're going to separate the egg yolk into egg white so we're going to make our mirroring first before the filling And you be careful, make it sure that there's no egg yolk into your egg whites. And we're going to put it straight into the saucepan that we're going to cook our filling before, later. We keep going until we've done our three eggs. So we already separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. So we're going to set aside this first for our uh, filling. We're going to make the meringue first. So again, our meringue is egg whites, one cup of sugar, one four teaspoon of cream of tartar, and vanilla extracts, of course. Don't forget our hand mixer and thank you for my friend Josephine. If you're watching, your mixer is really working so hard. Okay, so we're going to add the cream of tartar in our egg whites. And we're going to mix it. Okay, a little bit noisy.
So we done our meringue, as you can see, it's stiff. That is the perfect one because it's not going to spill when you put upside down our bowl. Okay, so now we're going to check our pastry. Our pastry is ready. And we're going to flour the surface that I clean and dry. And we're going to roll our dough. We're going to do the first one first. We get ready our pie pan. We need to flour our rolling pin so it won't stick. And look, so smooth and uh, it's really easy to work it out. So we just uh, roll it out until it fits into our baking pan or our pie pan. So we're going to bake this first in 400 degrees Fahrenheit until uh, golden brown and then we're going to put our filling so we're done rolling out and as you can see if if you get the right texture and you can easily do like this so into our baking pan or pie pan Okay, our pastry is just looking good. So, we're going to bake this in the oven. And we can use a fork to press on the edge. So we done our pastry. And we're going to bake this into 400 degrees and then until golden brown. Because we need to pre-bake this before we're going to put our filling. Okay, so we'll see you later. So while we're waiting for the pie crust, we're going to sift our cornstarch flour. sugar and salt together. <laughs> 